want to go to boys first because you did start out at Western Reserve coaching boys. Um, and one of your players ended up being a McDonald's All-American, and he didn't finish with you guys, but now he's in the NBA, and that's Chris Livingston. And what yeah. I want to ask about Chris is, you know, now that he's in the NBA, like what skill set did he have or what work ethic did he have or was it natural? Like what did he possess that was different than other players you've seen or coached that got him to that level? Yeah, I mean – First of all, great kid. His brother's a great kid too. He was here with them for their sophomore year. Um, both both of those kids are gym rats. You know, they mm-hmm. only, if they're not if they weren't in class, they're in the gym. If you know, if they weren't in the gym, they're doing strength conditioning. Um, I think what really separated Chris apart um, from others, not just here at Western Reserve, but in the country, um, his athleticism off the charts. I mean, his in his first step. His first step was one of the quickest first steps I've ever seen. He, he had the ball on a strain, create his own shot, um, and he could really lock in defensively if he needed to. Um, I thought that his the second half of his season at Kentucky, he really he really kind of found his way within within kind of what their system is, um, which was you know which was obviously different than high school. You know, he was probably averaging 30, 30 points a game, maybe a little less, but. Um, and I think I think that's where prep school is great as well, because, you you know, you can be a big fish in a small pond. But as soon as you get other players around, like your role is going to change. So how do you adapt to that? And I think I think that's a huge added benefit of going to prep school, not just Western Reserve, but any prep school playing with good players. So you get you get to kind of deal with that adversity earlier on rather than getting to college your freshman year and be like, this is totally new. I've never you know, I've never had to had to pass up an open shot or, you know, I've never had to not be the guy that scores, you know, 25 points a game. I think, um, I think that, that, that's, that takes a lot longer for some kids um, once they get to college. And that, that, that sometimes makes or breaks kids once they get there, right? Coach will write them off if they're not going to buy in and get it, you know, get into the system that they want them to play. So. 